Inquisitor. Scout Harding. We're on the outskirts of Sarnia. This is what's left of the town. The lucky ones got out before the river froze over. The rest, penned in by Fade Rifts and Red Templars, were the first friendly face they've seen in a long, long while. How did an entire river freeze so quickly? It got really cold, really quickly. Sarnia relies on its river for everything. Trade, food... They weren't expecting this. Do you know why the Red Templars have come here? Can't tell you much. The Templars have outposts all through the hills. Our scouts haven't been able to get through. It probably has something to do with the local stone quarry, though. A lot of the workers went missing after the Red Templars moved in. I should look in on the townsfolk. See what they can tell me. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. The Red Templars have been mounting frequent attacks. They want en plus du Lyon. Bad. Let's get out there and take it back from them. Generous of you. I do what I can. I that was generous of you. I do what I can. I am partly to blame for all this. The Red Templars are here because, fool that I am, I sold them my family's quarry. They've taken every worker. We haven't seen them in weeks. And it's not enough. They keep coming, taking more people. And there's nothing I can do to stop them. How could you have sold land to the Red Templars? I didn't know. I swear by Andrasse's buyer. They looked like knights, chevaliers. Such pretty speeches. They said they would reopen the quarry, bring employment and trade back to Sanya. We'd been struggling since the war began. How could I refuse? It was good for a time. People went to work, they were paid. Then they stopped coming home. After that, the Red Templars stopped pretending. What do you mean the Red Templars take workers? People just disappear. First those who worked the quarry, then they took people from their homes. I don't know why. I just prayed they'd leave me and my family alone. Michel de Chauvin at your service, your worship. I saw the Inquisition's banners from afar. Never expected to see the Herald of Andraste himself. Sir Michel de Chauvin, Empress Celine's champion? No longer a champion. No longer, sir. Michel de Chavannes, I know your story. You were disgraced and banished from court for treachery. There's much more than that, but it ends the same way. What does it matter? Despite all, I have a strong arm, a stout heart, and I still serve Ole. Are you here to guard the people? As much as I can, although this was not my original intention. I hunt a demon. This one calls itself Imshael, and has settled in Suladin Keep. Up in the hills, Imshel is free because I made a mistake. I will see him destroyed. Now that the Inquisition is here, perhaps the Red Templars who guard the keep can be routed. All I need is one chance. I need to know more about Imshel. A desire demon, more cunning than anything I have encountered. And I have played the game. Imshel has roamed the land for some time. If anything, he will have grown in power. Why he is here in Ompris de Lyon, however, is anyone's guess. Perhaps he has gained the cooperation of the Red Templars, or vice versa. What's in Suladin Keep? Red Templars, so far as I can tell. Suladin is an elven fortress, left to crumble. The locals always avoided it, believing it the haunt of ancient elven spirits. You know where the demon is? Why wait? I am but one man. Suladin Keep is guarded by Red Templars. While I would happily give my life for this, I would not give it in vain. You could serve the Inquisition. We have use for strong arms and stout hearts. No, not until Imshael is defeated. No, I dropped it. It's gone. Gone. You have to help us. They'll turn us into those... things!
Red Templar lieutenants are in the quarry. This won't stop until they're dead. Please help me. You don't seem well. What's wrong? The red crystals. I can feel them. At the tips of my fingers beneath my nails, under my eyes. I know what happened. I... I have a letter from my love. Would you place it in the hollow of the marked tree by the river? When he returns from the war, he'll know to look there. Let him hate me and move on. You lied. You knew what the Red Templars were doing, but you took their gold and stayed silent. Yes, I took their gold. Gold and any supplies they would give, all so we could live. There are many orphans in Sarnia. Who protected them when their parents were lost? We couldn't run, not with the river frozen and the demons. If I had said anything, they would have killed me too. So I let them take people, and prayed that one day, someone like you would come destroy them. All we could do was survive till that day. Now it's come, hasn't it? I was right. People were taken, infected by red lyrium because of your actions. What else could I do? Take up the old pitchfork to fight? Those who died would have died regardless. This way at least some survived. He was alive. All this time he was alive. I didn't even dare hope. things improve for you, your family, and all of Sarnia. Because of you, they have. Thank you. Thank you for freeing us. I never thought I'd see Lynette's beautiful face again. You will be in my thoughts and prayers. Fight it.
pack of shades descends now upon Sarnia. The people are defenseless. I must return without delay. It's up to you to destroy Imshael. Ah, the hero arrives. But is it hero or murderer? It's so hard to tell. Hmm, so this is the demon called Imshael. Ahem. <clears throat> Choice spirit. Talky ones. <sighs> I hate the talky ones. Wait, wait, wait! These are your friends? They're very violent. It's worrying. True to my name, I will show you that you have a choice. It doesn't always have to end in blood. No. You die, demon. Alpha. Choice? Spirit! If you won't be Why was the demon here, working with the Red Templars? A garden needs a gardener. Nurturing gentle hands, directing the change. Not too fast, not too slow. Just right. Has to be just right. I get it. Too fast and you end up a statue in the gallows courtyard. There's nothing I can do for you. I'm sorry. Imshael. He said he could take the red out. If I said yes... Imshael could have saved you. He liked to watch the agony. He liked to play. We were his garden. Consent and live. Deny and be consumed. Oh, but what he wanted... No. Anything but that. I chose the red. I chose... No sign of trouble at the moment. It's done. The demon is dead. It is finally over. I wish I could have heard him scream, but... Sarnia is safe. It is a good day. Now I find myself free to choose a new direction. I would be honored to serve the Inquisition, if it will have me. The Inquisition welcomes you, Michel de Chavan. I shall return to your outpost to await further instruction.
I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... Yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. You're a better person than you give yourself credit for. I appreciate the thought, but I know who I am. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I'll feel better when we take down Corypheus. As will I. He will not elude us forever. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. I can think of worse places to go with Chromisius. So can the chief, believe me. He loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, Chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Wait, are you? I didn't realize. You didn't? Well, great. Now we can all talk about it. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender, but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those... Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. Don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the charges. Or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. So, how do you join the charges? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country. Or a chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. I take it you're the company healer. Yes, first time I ever picked up a sword was when the Blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. 
He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. You've got a good company, Bull. Ah, we do all right. No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know a tavern with loose cards and looser skirts. For everybody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horn be pointing up. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. Hey, you need me? I'd like to hear more about the charges. Always happy to talk about my guys. What do you want to know? I'd like to know more about Krem. He's a good soldier, and a better second in command. The troops need someone to complain to when I'm being a hard ass. He's good for that. You don't have any problems with him being a woman? He's not a woman. Look, I've got horns, you've got a magic mark on your hand that makes demons pop out of the sky. We're probably not the best people to go around deciding what's normal. Krem's a good man. I don't give a nug's ass that it's a little harder for him to piss standing up. You don't have a problem with him being from Tevinter? Nah. But you hate the Vince? Sure. But he's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine, but people... It's too much work to hate them one by one. How did you start the group? It's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the Bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. What are the craziest jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one? <laughs> There's a lot of violence between the nobles here, but that's standard work. The fun stuff is when they party. They always want to impress each other, and that means getting something shiny. We've hunted weavens, fought through caves to find some old magical crap. Even when giant baiting was. What's giant baiting? So this old guy, Comte Van Chess, has some kind of a pageant planned. But he needs a giant, which is off in some damn cave. He's got some kind of rare charm to control the giant. But no way he's going into that cave himself. So we go in, kill some spiders, find the giant, and wake it up. It attacks us because of course it does. And we let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. That was actually your plan? To let a giant chase you? Yeah. We had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. Long as my guys ahead could clear out the spiders, we were fine. Bad news is the giant spiderwebs slow you down a bit more than you think. But at least Comte Van Chess got his giant for the pageant. Eh. <sighs> Turned out that charm was a phony. Giant ate the poor guy alive. It's okay, though. We still got paid. You have people from plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yes, well, when you're in Orlais and you look like me, you can't be picky about who you take in. A lot of them got turned away from other companies that didn't want a knife here, or a crazy dwarf. Their loss. You get my back in a fight and carry your own weight, you're good with me. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Heard you found something that had to do with Wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound Orlesian. Marcher, then? Ferelden? I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. I hear that many Wardens were once criminals. You're right. 
And when you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. What did you do before you became a warden? I was a soldier, a, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. Inquisitor. I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven. The Fade. Escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? Demons tore her from me. I couldn't stop them. So you had no time to think, only to act. Her message to me. <laughs> I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all. Please, if you remember. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. The Templars will be an asset to this Inquisition. It's a shame we couldn't also get the mages on our side. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. She was a good friend, and it will take time to get used to her absence. But thank you for asking. It is appreciated. I'll leave you to your work. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasra. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Canari and the Inquisition joining forces. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big warships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. 
It's been a while. I thought Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. All right. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is? Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Einbull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this venatory cult. Yes. Filthy, decadent brutes, the lot of them. I'm certain life would be much better for all of us under the Kuhn. It was for me. After the Canari rescued me from slavery in Tevinter, I was eight. The Kuhn isn't perfect, but it gave me a better life. Yes. One free from all that pointless free will and independent thought. Such an improvement. Arguing about the war between your two nations isn't going to help anyone right now. I'm not here to convert anyone. All I care about is stopping this red lyrium from reaching Minrathos. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Sahara and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatory mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well. The Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half-dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes. But it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Just waiting on you and his rod, or Iron Bull, I guess. You knew Iron Bull back when he fought in Sahara? Yes. He led the group that freed me. I was a Magister's slave, and when the Magister went to Saharon, he brought me along. For company. Iron Bull and his men attacked my master's ship and killed him, as well as his soldiers. Bull set me free. 
And you decided to start following the Kuhn after that? What do you think? I just watched a giant horned warrior kill the Magister who hurt me. He never told me about this. One of the few things he hasn't shared with you, I gather. Sure, Bull. Share the secret Ben Hasrath reports, but keep that bit where you save the elf boy to yourself. Is Bull going to get in trouble for passing those reports on? The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased with how forthcoming Bull has been, but he was one of their best agents. He kept the streets clean in Saharan longer than anyone before him or after. He fought until it nearly killed him. The Ben Hasrath trust him enough to accept how he joined the Inquisition, even if they don't like it. Besides, they hate to discard a tool that might still have some use left in it. That's why I have a job. It sounds like following the Kuhn hasn't always been easy. I had a temper. Bull's nickname for me, Gat, comes from Gatlock, the explosive power in Canary Cannons. I was so angry when I was first freed. I wanted revenge. I wanted to find my family who were still enslaved in Minrathos. I thought about leaving when the Kuhn didn't tell me what I wanted to hear. But I didn't. Why not? The Canari were always ready to listen, to teach. They cared for me as much as one of their own. And if I leave, the parts of the Kuhn that I don't like are never going to change. How did an elf end up working for the Kunari out here? The Ben Hasrath usually pick elves or humans to work outside of Kunandar. They're a little harder to spot. I've worked in Orle and Navara, but only for a few years now. What did you do before that? When I was old enough, I fought to Vinter Forces in Saharon. I was too angry to do much else. It took me a long time to accept the Kuhn, to get past justice to purpose. Some days are still difficult. No one's actually detailed how an alliance with the Kunari will help the Inquisition. The answer to that is above my rank. But the Kunari don't really bargain. They don't know how. I doubt you want Kunari troops stomping around your stronghold, and you're too far away for supplies to be useful. You'd get more use out of our ships, I imagine, and the agents we've got spread across Thedas. We know a lot more than what Bull sees in those reports he's been forwarding to your spymaster. Do you have a minute to talk about the Kuhn? I'm a spy inquisitor, not a teacher. I'm not interested in converting anyone or debating the philosophy. But I suppose it would make for an interesting report to hear the inquisitor's opinion of the Kuhn. To be honest, I don't really understand enough of the Kuhn to judge it. I think you have to be raised under the Kuhn for it ever to make sense. The people who join as adults either end up unhappy or... Well, for many, it's just a kind of form of slavery. I like the simplicity. I like knowing my place and knowing that it's the right place. Other parts I've struggled with myself. I'll let you know when we're ready. I await your pleasure, Inquisitor. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start. But don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage. Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bull. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! You gave your Chargers the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship. It's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then. Just like old times. <laughs> be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kuhn for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. Can you make 
make out any of your mercenaries down there. Not from here. Probably a better view once we take the Vince camp. Worry? They're my men. I've been with some of them for years. <laughs> You must wish you were back in Tevinter, Mage. No soldiers to guard you here, no slaves to wait on you. It's the lack of fashion that really strikes fear into my heart. You know nothing of fear. You intend to teach me? No. You serve the Inquisition, and the Ben Hasrath wish an alliance. For now, that is enough. We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent their Zuck. See him down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. Nice one. Crap. They've still got time to fall back if you signal them now. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashov. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashov. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? I regret that we couldn't protect the Dreadnought. So do I. When the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasra's reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. The loss of the Ben Hasrath information will hurt. Can we smoke out some of your old contacts? They'll pull their people soon enough. But we might be able to identify the agents who replace them. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor.
How did the charges come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. You wanted to see me? Oh, I got it! E poste sala tal vaso. Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming. Little change in the god rotation tipped me off. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you were the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek. Liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrath? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. Are you going to be all right? It's a knife wound, boss. I think I'll live. I'm fine. Thanks. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. Mistress Pullen of Sarnia is accused of aiding and abetting the Red Templars in the Dales. She sold a quarry to them for a handsome sum. They used the quarry to grow Red Lyrium by enslaving townspeople. The only extenuating circumstance Mistress Pullen was procuring supplies to keep the remaining townspeople fed. If you'd like to explain your intentions, speak. My crime was misjudgment. The land sale was meant to bring prosperity in hard times. Yet you kept taking coin from the Red Templars, even after you realized what they'd done to the people. Why not? It bought food for the ones remaining. Isn't that enough? You question whether greed or necessity led me. Tell me which you weigh me for. Mistress Poulin, you will spend all your ill-earned money rebuilding the town of Sarnia. If the townspeople forgive you, your debt to them is paid. Your Worship, I will do my best to repair what I have done. 